Hey folks, this is Ben with Ben's Campers, and today we're going to talk about pop-up trailers. In particular, this is a 1998 Coleman uh, Fleetwood product, Coleman Bayside pop-up camper. And uh, we're going to walk around this trailer, uh, not only to show you this one, but to discuss the uh, common problems and pitfalls that people will face uh, when purchasing these used, usually low-priced pop-up campers. Uh, these units are desirable to a lot of people, and I can definitely see why. Uh, they often get called starter campers, as in, you know, you've been tent camping for a while, and you kind of want to get into a get-off-the-ground and have some creature comforts while still being able to tow it with your minivan or your light pickup truck or SUV. You don't want to have this big bulky trailer taken up your driveway. So a pop-up camper is a great alternative, uh, a hybrid, if you will, between you know a tent and a trailer, hence the name tent trailer. Uh, I want to talk about what you are going to see on just about any used low price pop-up camper and what you're not going to see and uh, what makes them a good buy or, and what to stay the heck away from. Uh, this trailer in particular belongs to a relative of mine. Uh, it is in here for some repairs to get it ready for camping season. And all in all, she will have well under, well under $3,000 into this trailer. Now, I'm telling you that because that is the lure of a lot of these things. I've seen them even less than that. I've seen them for free or close to it. So the first thing you're going to want to look at on the pop-up camper are the lift cables. So this trailer has an intricate uh, lift cable system where it has these steel cables, steel braided cables up through all these arms. Uh, on all four corners that and a pulley system underneath and it cranks it up. Okay, very often those cables will break and They are a pain to replace The cables not expensive, you know some cables a dollar a foot or whatever it is They're just such a pain to replace. I mean cutting your hand and getting wedged up in these tight spaces inside the wall they're really tough. So that's the first thing. If it's got rusty, frayed old cables on it, unless you're really a seasoned handyman, uh, avoid at all costs. Okay. Uh, secondly, is the canvas. So frequently I see otherwise very nice pop-up campers for sale that they say, well, the canvas is deteriorating. Uh, it's had rodents, it had mildew, and now it's kind of falling apart. If you touch it, the seams come apart. Uh, run away. Just run away. There's no, there's no fix for that. Well, there is a fix. It's replaced the whole canvas uh, at a cost that probably exceeds what you paid for the trailer and exceeds what the trailer's ever worth. Uh, can that be worth it? Yeah, in some scenarios, I suppose it can be, but uh, in most, it really is not. Um, by the way, she, uh, my cousin looked at brand new units and I'm shocked to learn that they were $14,000 for a brand new pop-up camper, uh, a basic one, not even the crazy loaded one, which this one does have some nice options. Um, so, you know, obviously this is, these can be had for a fraction of that price, uh, which makes them so tempting. Uh, you can see this one has had some rodent intrusion. Uh, it's pretty recent, so it hasn't been like an ongoing thing where it's had years. Uh, the canvas on this is in very good shape. Uh, it is from 1998, so it's 25 years old, so there are imperfections, but nothing that can't be fixed. So the main thing you want to look for is that the canvas is not deteriorating. You'd see the seams coming apart. Uh, you know, you could even touch it and pull on it and the seams will pull right apart if it is. You're not fixing that with any patch kit. You know, you're not going to be able to sew up some new uh, areas on that. It's just going to keep falling apart. So this one, fortunately, besides the rodent holes, um, 
is fixable. Well, they're fixable, but the second thing you want to look for, look out for is water and moisture, or I should say the third thing, water and moisture damage. So any kind of uh, moisture in these things uh, ha hastens the deterioration of the canvas, and uh, that's about game over. Pop-ups, you know, campers in particular are very susceptible to any kind of water damage. Uh, pop-ups especially so if, if this thing gets damp say even from a light rain or from uh, the morning dew and then you close it up while it's still damp well it's trapping all that moisture inside and it's you know if you store it over the winter like that for months or even just in the summer you know a month or two in the baking heat uh, mildew must forms very quickly and that attracts rodents and before you know it you have a mess and I've seen new late model, very close to new pop-up campers ruined very, very quickly due to uh, just moisture. So that is a main thing to look out for. Uh, the, on the, uh, the, the fourth note there is the rodent factor. Uh, campers and mice go together like, I don't know, grilled cheese and tomato soup. They just, no matter what you do, um, you really have to be on your guard. Now, this one has had mice, but it's important to look that they haven't been totally through the entire trailer, you know, for years. And in this case, they have not. Uh, that smell that they leave behind, you know, that the, they chew up everything, uh, that's very hard to remedy. So pop-up campers are especially susceptible. There's so much cloth and fabric. Uh, mice love that, you know, there, there are a lot more entry points on a pop-up camper. Uh, they tend to get, for whatever reason, stored, and, you know, you don't open up the pop-up camper. Uh, it's not like a regular travel trailer where you can go inside of it and clean it up, you know, and keep an eye on it all the time. It's, it's closed up for months at a time, and that allows the critters to move in. So, uh, let's go inside this unit. Okay, now first on the floor is not dirt. Uh, the previous owner had installed some kind of peel and stick tile floor and it left like a glue residue on the floor. So we're going to try to get that off. It looks really bad, but it's not dirt. This unit is actually pretty clean and in pretty fair shape. So uh, this unit does have a nice Norcool refrigerator, a propane three burner stove top, a nice little sink, and a faucet that needs replaced. Uh, it's got a nice little shelf storage area. Tons of sleeping area in this unit. Uh, this is not a musty or moldy trailer. It has had some moisture in it. Uh, down here you can see it's not soft or rotten. Um, but it has had some moisture, it does have a little furnace, and this unit also has a hot water heater, so that's very important. A lot of pop-up campers do not, and in my opinion, uh, you know what, just save your money then and stick with a tent. You know, a lot of people might disagree with me, but um, I think a hot water, having hot water really differentiates between you know, it, hot water makes a difference between a sanitary living environment and an unsanitary environment. So, uh, this unit, yeah, the cushions, the bedding is, are all in really nice shape. Uh, yeah, they're a little frumpy and, you know, she's gonna, they're gonna redo the curtains and, you know, jazz it up a little bit. Uh, the other big issue with this trailer is the roof. It is sagging. It's a one-piece composite roof and it's just bowed down the center from age we are going to support it uh, across with like a ladder frame type of uh, structure and jack it up and fix it so we do have a solution for that uh, so that's a fix that you know you could I guess you could do it uh, on your own in your backyard but it really takes some some professional talent that we do here at the shop to profession to properly and professionally execute a repair like that 
uh, that's going to last for many years. So, uh, this is a fair trailer. And with what they have invested into it, uh, it will provide them um, many summers of enjoyment. Everything will work. All the appliances. Uh, we do have to replace all four stabilizer jacks. So, I uh, hope that helps you guys. If you are looking at those cheap pop-up campers and you're like, oh, that's only, you know, a thousand bucks. Hey, a couple hundred and this and that, and I'll be on the road. Well, and that may be the case. You might find a sweet deal or that might not be the case. You might have another thousand dollars in repairs and maintenance to use that thing safely and comfortably with your family. So, Appreciate you guys watching as always. Please like and subscribe and God bless.